You have entered the Plumbing Business Success Zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live every week. Turn on notifications to never miss an episode. Now your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. I'm a big um, fan of piece rate, okay? And I push, and as you know, Ryan, I talk about um, selling hours, and I have this thing called HVI, the hourly value index, okay? And so I get the company, when this company knows it's one number, it can literally run the company with that one number, okay? And so I was concerned, I, my whole thing of, of guys being happier switched, um, and I got the competitiveness out of them, and I um, and all those all those things I wanted. When I switched from driving sales, like always talking numbers and pushing numbers, because a guy gets the dollars. point dollars, mm -hmm. like dollars, like pushing dollars. Getting we need average tickets of fifteen hundred dollars, and we're selling this and we're pushing that, and we got to constantly get your truck up and up and up and up. When I switched it to the HVI of selling hours. The guys got more competitive. They just, mm -hmm. they just see me as I just want you to, you know, you just want me to make more money for you. Mm -hmm. But what it did too was it switched in my brain, Ryan, what, what these guys are looking for. Because I had guys, look, we all, and you guys know this out there. Give, give, give me an amen for you guys out there or tell me I'm full of it. I, don't, I can handle both, okay? <laughs> that your guys across the board, no matter where you're at in the world, about three o'clock in the afternoon, the cows are looking for the barn. The guys are looking to go home. On the whole, you're gonna have a you're gonna have some top performers are going after the money. They're one step under being an entrepreneur themselves, wanting to do the things. But most of your guys want to go home and go fishing, want to go make it to the kids' practice, want to just go. They just want to do anything but plumbing. And so I, when I switched it to when they made the hours of what I needed for my, and I won't go on that explanation. That's for another program. Um, that that made me keeping my crew retention a lot easier because I had guys, I got what I wanted out of them from the truck, but they were getting off at two and three o'clock in the afternoon every day, mm -hmm. right? And we're happy. And if I wanted if I wanted to make more money, I just added a truck. I just brought another guy you know and placed him there, you know. So that, yeah, I think, I think that really nails down whether it's managing people and motivating people or even hiring that concept that while you want X, you can't phrase it in terms that are what you want revenue. That's cool, but right. your employees don't see the benefit of that. And it's either unapproachable or it has negative connotations behind it, right? So when right. you switch it into something that they can understand that is personal to them, and usually that has to do with removing money out of it, right? Yes. Number of deals for us, number of demos, and you know the numbers of doing things versus the revenue. And you can get your multiplier to multiply what that means from a revenue standpoint, but that is something that doesn't have the negative connotation of money and something that they can see in their own personal life. Yeah, it's perfect, right? And so right. PTO is the same thing. It's not about the cost. It's about number of days off. How many days do I get off to go do something? Cool, we're going to offer 10 days off, 10 paid days. That's again, something that they can connect to and say, I totally understand what that means. It's 10 trips to the lake. It's 10 times going skiing. It's right. 10 times doing whatever. It's, it's 10 three-day weekends, right? Like they can connect that to what matters to them, which is not the money at that point.